hello, assalamu alaikum. I'm Anisha Abdelbi, occupational therapist. Uh, today I will talk about using hydrochloride or hydrogel or thick duderm in scar management. Um, this is the way it looks, and this is mainly the name of the product, but it's mainly well known like hydrochloride, hydrogel, thick duderm. It's mainly used in treating pressure ulcers. Uh, we also use uh, sometimes tape, like for example, sterile strips. We use Hyperfix sometimes, Kenzo tape for scar management. And the theory is it's mainly applying pressure, like using tape, it's mainly applying pressure on the skin. The best thing with hydrogel, it's mainly giving more hydration, which uh, burn scars needs. Uh, very, very strong self adhesive, where in the piece of, um, of hydrogel or hydrochloride stays on the scar for a whole week. It means you need to apply it on a dry skin and then leave it for a week. Better to have the edges like curvy, so it's not easily removable. And patient needs to do very good massaging on top. The question is, when to start using it on burn scars? When to use it on surgical scars? And what's the benefit of the hydrogel uh, uh, dressing, I would say, because hydrogel is not really silicone sheets. So as I mentioned, it gives hydration. This is number one. It also gives pressure. The way you apply it in the skin, it's a way of applying pressure. And we know that pressure is very essential in reducing scar formation and preventing hypertrophic scarring. The other thing that hydrochloride do or hydrogel or thick duderm do, it's mainly a stimuli. Once you apply it on the skin, it's a stimuli to the brain cells that tells the fibroblast not to deposit a lot of collagen. If you use thick duderm or hydrogel on burn scar, I would do prefer to use it in all the scars. Like if you use it in a fresh, newly healed scars, and because of the strong adhesions on the uh, thick duderm, it really uh, damaged the skin. So the best time to use it minimal of six months post a skin graft. Oh, it's really one of the best tools to apply it on keloid scar. On the other side, post TKR, post cardiac surgeries, uh, post fractures, uh, I did use it like six, seven weeks maximum post surgery and patients need to apply it, leave it for a week, good massaging on top, on the same direction of the surgical side. So if you have a vertical uh, line of, of stitches like TKR cases or cardiac, the massage or the deep fraction, deep fraction massage should be on the same direction, ups and down, horizontal, ups and down. Uh, I'm sorry, vertical, ups and down. And patient need to remove it once a week, uh, have a break for one hour, two hours, and then apply another piece till the complete maturation of the scar. Uh, if patient has a shower on top, it's fine. Patient could have a daily shower, but he need to uh, dry it off by giving some pressure with a towel so it doesn't absorb a lot of water. It's mainly um, consisting of two layers. Uh, it has a spongy layer on top. So it's, it's a spongy layer on top, wherein this is the, the thing that could absorb water, and then it has another adhesion layer wherein the water will never reach the skin. Uh, but really, it's very useful uh, for post-TKR, post-cardiac surgery, for all the scars, for keloid scarring, it's very, 
uh, beneficial. But we need to know very well that this is not silicone sheets. It's, it's a wound care product that really shows very good results in SCAR management. Thank you so much.